This is the best free text-to-speech voiceover you can get completely 100% for free from Google's new AI studio. As you can start your own faceless channel completely for free. Listen to this. Step one, build an army. Not of soldiers with rifles, but of coders with keyboards. They created elite cyber warfare units, sometimes called Bureau 121. They scoured the country for the brightest mathematical minds, kids who were geniuses at numbers and trained them, sent them abroad to places like China and Southeast Asia, where they could operate with high-speed internet, living anonymously, blending in, a ghost army. Step two, the heist. This wasn't just about espionage. This was about cold, hard cash. They became the world's most prolific bank robbers, except the banks were now digital wallets and the vaults were blockchains. They so if you just type in Google AI Studio, you'll find it by looking at this first result where it says AIstudio.google, click on that, and you'll be able to get a free text-to-speech voice you can use for like faceless channels or anything that you wanna use. So once you come to this little Google AI Studio page, you're gonna see right here, it has all these different options. And if you click on generate media, there's more options, but you wanna click on Gemini speech generation right here. So click on that. And you know, over here on the right hand side, there's some options. And for, for the most part, most of us will wanna click on single speaker audio. So the multi-speaker is if you're trying to do maybe like a podcast or something like that. But if you just wanna put in a script and have a text-to-speech voice read it, just click on single speaker audio right here. And then in the top under style instructions, you can change the tone just by typing in right here. So I, I would let, like if, let's just say you're putting in like a documentary style, maybe like Johnny Harris type documentary style video. You could just change this to say, read aloud in a quick pace and ominous, mysterious tone of voice. And that's gonna help Google understand how it wants the voice to read it. So believe it or not, it does kind of adhere to that. Maybe not perfectly, but it will. Now all I'm gonna do is just paste in a script right here, which I had it right. If you come up to chat, you can have it write the scripts for you. And it writes pretty good scripts. I had it write one that's like in the style of Johnny Harris, the documentary style. And this one is just about like North Korea. So um, I'm just gonna choose the voice over here on the right hand side. And if you just click the drop down menu, this is how you can preview the voices. Just click the play buttons. Ready to build something awesome today? And you'll be able to find which voice you wanna use. Got a project in mind. So for this one, I'll just go ahead with Puck, but you can look through all the, they have a lot of voices over here. What kind of project are you thinking of? What kind of problem could we solve? What's a skill you'd like to develop? What sparks your interest? Ready to make something amazing? Ready to build something awesome today? All right, so as you can see, they got a whole bunch of different voices that you guys can just scroll through and just preview them and figure out which one you wanna use for your videos. And then all you gotta do is click on run and that's how you can get a completely free voiceover. So I'll click run right now so you guys can see this voiceover. By the way, guys, I just wanna tell you while this is loading, that you can pretty much build an entire faceless channel with Google's AI Studio now, cause you could do the voiceover, you can write the script, and then you can generate the images and animate them and create little video clips all within Google's free AI Studio. So you can build an entire faceless channel. So if you guys wanna see how to do that, Make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know and I will create an entire faceless channel and walk you guys through it step by step from scratch for free without spending a single penny. If you guys are interested in starting like a YouTube channel, a faceless YouTube channel, you could do it all with Google's new free AI studio. Okay guys, it's finished generating the voiceover. Didn't take long at all. And if you see down here, it is four minutes and 43 seconds long. So it it's able to create long voiceovers and that's just the length of the script that I put in. It'll make a longer one than that if you have a longer script. And let's just go ahead and listen to it and see how it sounds. You probably don't think about it much. That transaction you just made online, the password you just saved, the airdrop you just accepted. It's all seamless, invisible. It's the background radiation of modern life, a world built on trust and code. But for one country, that code isn't about convenience. It's about survival. It's a weapon. And they have a plan. This is the story of how North Korea, one of the most isolated and impoverished nations on Earth, decided to fight a new kind of war, a secret war, waged not on a battlefield, but on the very digital infrastructure that powers our world. See, when you think of North Korea, you think of parades, missiles, 
a brutalist gray landscape locked in time, a country cut off from the world by sanctions, by ideology, by geography. And that's true, but that's not the whole story. Because for decades, the West, led by the United States, has had a strategy, squeeze them, sanction their economy, cut off their access to money, to resources, to technology. The idea is that if you squeeze hard enough, the regime will crack. But the regime didn't crack, it adapted. And here's the thing, you can't build an aircraft carrier when your GDP is smaller than Vermont's. You can't win a conventional war against the superpower. So you have to change the rules of the game, you have to find a vulnerability, an asymmetry. And they found it. Right here. They realized the entire Western world, America in particular, was built on a mountain of data, a mountain of money and resources that only existed as digital signals. And that mountain was climbable. That fortress had back doors. So the plan was born. A plan not just to defend, but to attack, to use our greatest strength our interconnectedness against us. Step one, build an army. Not of soldiers with rifles, but of coders with keyboards. They created elite cyber warfare units, sometimes called Bureau 121. They scoured the country for the brightest mathematical minds, kids who were geniuses at numbers and trained them. Sent them abroad to places like China and Southeast Asia, where they could operate with high-speed internet, living anonymously, blending in. A ghost army. Step two, the heist. This wasn't just about espionage. This was about cold, hard cash. They became the world's most prolific bank robbers. Except the banks were now digital wallets, and the vaults were blockchains. They targeted cryptocurrency exchanges, pulling off heists worth hundreds of millions, sometimes billions of dollars. Money that is nearly impossible to trace. Money that goes straight back to Pyongyang to fund the real missiles, the ones you see in the parades. They unleashed ransomware attacks like the infamous WannaCry virus that crippled hospitals and businesses across the globe. The message was simple, pay us or your data is gone. It was digital extortion on a global scale. But the plan is escalating. It's moving beyond just money. The new phase, the one that keeps cybersecurity experts up at night is about liquidation, not just of money, but of data and resources. Think about it. Major American companies, Logistics firms, pharmaceutical giants, energy companies, their most valuable asset isn't their buildings. It's their data, proprietary research, customer lists, logistical plans that map out the arteries of the American economy. The plan is to steal it, all of it, and not just to hold it for ransom, but to liquidate it, to sell it to the highest bidder, a rival company, another country, or even more terrifyingly, to simply delete it to wipe a company's institutional memory clean, to cause chaos, to cripple a sector of the economy with a few thousand lines of code. This is the ultimate asymmetric warfare. It cost them almost nothing to launch an attack, but it could cost a company or even a country everything. It's a way to bypass sanctions, to hurt the American economy directly, and to acquire resources and technology they could never develop on their own. So while we see the carefully choreographed parades on our screens, the real war is happening in silence. It's a string of code deployed from a rented apartment in a foreign city. It's a phishing email that looks like it's from your IT department. It's a quiet, relentless campaign to drain the West one gigabyte, one Bitcoin, one stolen blueprint at a time. This isn't a future threat. It's happening right now. And it's all part of the plan. A secret digital blueprint for how to fight a superpower without ever firing a shot. So I created this voiceover and I told it to read it aloud in a quick pace with an ominous, mysterious tone of voice because the script that I wrote was in the style of Johnny Harris, the documentary maker on YouTube. And I wanted to make one like that. So this is the best free voiceover. And if I paired that to some visuals, to some video clips, it's gonna look like a like a real deal documentary. It sounds awesome. Doesn't sound robotic at all, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe you guys might think differently, but you can always change the voice. Remember, over here under the voice section, you have all these different voices to choose from. I used Puck. If you're looking for which voice did I use for this uh, voiceover in this script, I used Puck. And yeah, so this is just a free way of generating voiceovers. If you guys are interested, if you're looking for a free text-to-speech voice, you're not going to find anything better than Google's new AI studio, completely free to use. Just 
check it out if you want and yeah i will see you guys in the next video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you like videos like this i'll see you in the next one